Konnichiwa, Mina, and it's and you're watching Pocket Cons. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a Wii game, and that is Cruising. And yes, if anybody's wondering, this is the fifth game in the Cruising series that features Cruising USA. Um, <clears throat> got this a while back, I just haven't got around to playing it because I was planning on doing one of my um, series videos that I no longer do. And I was trying to get a hold of all the games. And I just kind of sit there on the shelf. And the other day I posted a, on Twitter and one of my friends asked me, is it any good? Since I haven't played it yet, I thought decided it's time to find out. Now real quick, this game is up to two players and only uses uh, the wands, the remotes, as uh, your controller. So it's going to be motion sensor. And I'm curious to see how well it's going to work. As always, 10 minutes to play the game. First and play game a version of on the call skippity thing. Let's get the timer started. Time has been started, and away we go after this fateful loading. <clears throat> I really hope this is good. Save data. Yes, definitely. Because the series is amazing. So, I would really like to um, have that opportunity to have a good game on the Wii. If it's not, and it's horrible. So see, we got Chinatown, Race Wars, uh, Town Square, and we have Malibu with a lot of different tracks to, um, oh, I like the, just saw that there's actually coloring saying what, how difficult they are, and so that's nice. Got a lot of good tracks there, it looks like. All right. Chinatown. Good, I like that. Automatic. Look, there's a girl who's, who's saying these. Choose car. So we got the Toyota. The Nissan. Venice. Uh, let's see. Oh, Firebird. I might actually use that. Ooh. I have like the weirdest music in the background with, with, with sounds like uh, something from Mortal Kombat laughing in the background. Seriously. It does not match what this is. It sounds like I'm playing Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat, seriously. <laughs> it's like literally what could be someone helping in the background. That is so weird. Come on. I really don't like that, but that's purple. Gag. Metallic look doesn't look very good at all. So be it. I'm going to choose green then. Firebird. Choose upgrade. So wheat. Engine. Chinatown. This <laughs> is so weird. It makes no sense why you would do that, but whatever. Loading screen, not bad. Okay. I hope two is the gas pedal. That would just be perfect. Then shift would be the uh, D-pad because that would make a lot of sense and make it good controls since I have to use motion. Which means one would be the brake. Most likely. That's my guess. Yes, it is. I love it. They still have the girls here as real humans, not just computer-generated, you know, models. That makes me happy because it's like a staple in the series. Oh crap! Oops, I broke something. I like that. Sweet. Gotta keep your... Oh, hello. Goodbye. Gotta keep your balance in the air, too. Very important. Okay, so we actually have a damage meter. I gotta remember to be careful about that. Oh. 
Okay. Okay, so B actually changed the track. That is so weird. What does A do? A does nothing. I'm in sixth place. Oh man, I'm doing bad. Okay. Nice, I went from seventh to third. That's not bad at all. Wait, so I'm supposed to do damage? Hmm. I didn't mind that. If I'm supposed to destroy things. Not bad. Nice. Ooh, wow, I really killed it, didn't I? That actually played quite well. I was actually very surprised at uh, how precise the controls were. I like that. The controls actually worked really good. Let's go with the red one. I don't want to take up time to change the color. Ooh. Nitrous. Let's do it. Maybe that's what A is, but because I didn't... Because uh, I didn't have it installed, maybe, then that's why? Hmm. We'll have to see. Now loading. Okay. I wonder what I could actually destroy in this level, then. Because if I'm actually getting paid to destroy, then this makes it... F great. All right. It's actually good music. I did not get a good start at all. Nitrous! Holy crap, that's... And he had it too. I hate you. There are ramps. Okay. Checkpoint. Well, hello, Mr. Carr. Crap. At least it counted as air. I wonder if there's a way to actually get more nitro. Yeah! Okay, that wasn't worth it because I messed up my turning. I love how the cars just flip up in the air like that. And I'm in fourth. Oh, barely made it. How? I? I'm only in third? Where did the rest of them go? Oh, I passed him somehow. Checkpoint. Whoa, hello. Ha, even the NPCs will go over the ramps. That's awesome.
He is not going to let me at first. Jerk. <laughs> nice. Okay. Not a lot of air times. So I wasn't able to actually uh, fix the score. Hmm. Nice. They keep my name going. I like that. That's actually very important in my opinion. Just because I think that it's always good that we get the opportunity not to have to type in our name multiple times. That way it doesn't bother me. I'm just saying it's always nice to have as an extra feature. And the timer's about to go off, so I'll have to stop right there. Unfortunately. Okay, there's a the timer. So I have to say, this game is actually really good. The controls work really nicely. You got a good amount of cards already unlocked. You have a decent amount of tracks already unlocked. Then from there, you get to work on unlocking everything. Not only that, but you get to soup up the cars as you play them. So I didn't mind that one bit because that just adds so much more to the game because now you're not only trying to uh, improve your cars, but you're also unlocking more cars and more tracks. Things that I found to be fantastic is, like I said, when you saw the girl right there with the flag, all of the people are live action which was something that was nice in the first game because it was just something different. Or, I shouldn't say different because there was other games that did that too, but you know what I mean. So it's an important thing to see that they continue that in this current game because it really was a staple of the game, in my opinion. Uh, the music... <laughs> okay, the main menu music is absolutely hilarious, but it's not bad. It's actually what you would expect in an arcade game, so not bad at all. Graphically, it's what it is, and honestly, do we really need super uh, graphics for a racing game? I personally don't think so, unless we're doing VR, or it's the most current of everything, then, then whatever, you know. Well, I care more about a racing game is that the game actually can race, because I have several racing games that were decently uh, done in the graphics department on the current gen it was on, but the game doesn't work at all. So you're sitting there scratching, like, why would you guys waste all the time on graphics when I can't even play the game? So in my opinion, I think it's more important that we have um, good gameplay and then graphics second. So that's my opinion on this. Because otherwise it looks great for a Wii game. Don't get me wrong. I actually do quite enjoy what they did. I don't like the paint color. I think they went way too much on the italic uh, pattern, in my opinion. I don't like using an italic if I don't have to, I'd rather go to like matting or something else. But that's my that's just my personal preference. Um Yeah, this would be a fun one. It is not online, which would have been a brilliant feature, in my opinion, for midway to add on when the Wii was actually online. Because that would have been a lot of fun. Sadly it's not. That feature wasn't there when it was available, so that kind of hurts the game a little, only of it would have helped it sell better had it been added on. So it doesn't take anything away from the game, it just would have been a great feature to be added on and then have, you know, your common six to eight uh, uh, player race. I am happy that it is multiplayer and that is good because it would be a lot of fun just to jump right in and have fun with it. So, in all, this is one of those games that if you still have your Wii or you have your Wii U, highly recommend this one, especially if you love Cruising USA and all the other games from the series. This is not a disappointment to the series. This is actually a good addition on newer consoles and works nicely with the uh, driving controls that they wanted to uh, use. So, not bad at all, and yeah, give it a try. As always, thank you guys for watching. This is Kiro saying ciao and sayonara.